the Vinibarn. Um, in this demonstration video, we're going to show you our fluorescent paints. We have two colors here, a luminous yellow and a luminous orange. We're going to show you how to brush it on. It can also be sprayed on as well, so we're going to do a separate video on the spraying end of it. But for this video, we're going to go through the brush application. With fluorescent paint, it must go over a white base, a white primer, or a white ground coat. You can put the paint over it and then you can finish with a lacquer. You don't have to finish with a lacquer, but you can put a clear varnish over the top, which will give you more protection, make the paint last longer. Now, with all fluorescent paints, they're not color fast. They will fade in direct sunlight. They work best in direct sunlight. You, you'll see the most luminous part of it then, but they do have a short lifespan. They're ideal for highlighting areas like maybe the side of a skip or a wall or um, some signage, wherever you want to draw attention to. They're, they're particularly good because obviously they're so bright. In this video, for this demonstration, I have a piece of MDF wood. Now, obviously you can use whatever you need, whether it's a concrete surface, a steel surface, a plastic surface, makes no difference. The main thing is the surface you are painting that you use a suitable primer or ground coat to adhere to it, so, and it must be white. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll jump in now and uh, I'm gonna put a, a coat of white onto this. We're using um, chlorinated rubber, which is recommended for wood in this situation. I'm using a good quality paintbrush. It's an axis brush. It's actually for cutting in. You can see the slope on the end of it. Um, I, I find it's quite good. It leaves less brush marks than some of the other brushes. Okay, I've applied one coat. Uh, I'm gonna let that dry. In the case of chlorinated rubber, I know I can leave it four hours and then I'm okay to go over it with the fluorescent paint. Depending on the primers or on the coats you're using for your particular surface, if it's not MDF, it might be steel, concrete or whatever, you may need to leave it longer or you may be able to overcoat it sooner. We've, um, we've left it for four hours. We're now ready to move on to the next process of applying the fluorescent paint. We're gonna put a nice bright orange onto it. Okay, we've applied one even coat onto it, which is enough. The, the ground coat is doing its job, it's, it's shining through in the fluorescent paint, so it's lifting it nicely. It will, however, dry to a matte finish. We can apply, and we will apply, a clear varnish over the top of it, which will give it more longevity. So, you may or may not want to do that. In your situation, you may want to just highlight things on a temporary basis, and you may not want to go through the hassle of, of varnishing it as well. The option is yourself, it'll, it'll work either way. Obviously by varnishing it, it's gonna last a lot longer. We, we've now finished uh, the paint dried and we, we varnished it. On this yellow one here, I've left exposed uh, a certain area there that we haven't actually put the polyurethane varnish on it, so you can see the flat finish again. So here we have the white ground coat, the fluorescent paint, and then the varnished version of it.
If you have any further questions, please contact an advisor at vinnieborn.com or alternatively email sales at vinnieborn.com.